FBI and U.S. Marshals are also assisting in the search. This is canvassing an area that is heavily wooded in the Fox Lake area. That is a suburb uh, over an hour northwest of Chicago near the Wisconsin border. I'm not going to see you all walking there at the top of your screen. Fox Lake is a community of about 60,000 people. At this time, we're asking all area residents uh, to remain inside, report any suspicious activity, any suspicious people by dialing 911 as we still have three offenders at large. Thank you. And what's not known at this point is if these suspects are still on foot or they have managed to get their hands on a car. If so, there are a number of highways in the area where they could have gone away. So, of course, Tom Reardon will continue to follow this active investigation and bring news to very latest. Back to you. All right, Amanda Woods. Thanks, Amanda. Back in this country, in Alberta, a major break to tell you about today in a child porn operation. Eight people in the province have been charged with child sexual exploitation. Let's go to Alicia Gilbert, who joins us now, and with more on this story from Calgary. Alicia. The men arrested are between ages 27 and 60, and they include six people from Calgary, two from the Edmonton area. The detectives targeted people who were distributing large collections through peer-to-peer -peer file sharing networks. And they shared so much, we're talking about more than 100,000 photos and videos of extreme child sex abuse with kids as young as six months old. Now, police forces from several areas in the province worked together to seize 85 computers and electronic devices between September of last year and March 2015. And they say this is just the tip of the iceberg. They express their frustration with the warrant process that slows this down. Now, police say that none of the men arrested are in positions of public trust or authority. Some of them are out of release. Back to you. Thank you. 